So the rest of the pantry uh, area, we have a drying table next to the sink. So you can see all the sink equipment and the sink supplies are underneath the sink and some extra buckets, some paper towel, the beverage prep area for the desert to desert chai. We keep the kettles and our beverage cooler here. Um, we have all the coolers labeled with different food. We never mix the meat with the vegetables and the dairy stays separately. We even use a cooler right here for ice and it's sitting in a cooler full of dry ice on the bottom and crushed ice bags on top. And that dry ice helps keep our ice bags frozen. And that's really good for early arrivals so that you don't have to go to Arctica to buy ice because we already have some. And we like to keep a stock of ice in one of our coolers, especially when we start emptying coolers. Um, we'll always have one to keep things cold. Uh, our dry goods stay in these bins that are marked with different uh, food items like bread, uh, baking soda and vinegar, things like that. Um, keeping our fresh fruit, uh, fruit off the floor and our stock of cereal, our stock of paper towel that we need a lot of, and our eggs. Um, sometimes we have to keep off the floor. You can see all of our, um, all of our uh, noodles there. And there's the markings for the cooler. And we store our leftovers in Ziploc bags. Here's an example of our shelf. We have a lot of coffee supply up on the top shelf, a lot of condiments on the second shelf, a lot of our chai related uh, things like our condensed milk and our chai powder on the third shelf, um, a vinegar jug, syrup, our fruit and other canned goods and some other dry goods here. And then this last table here is just another area for uh, containers to dry and leaving some lights. And here's our back backup beverage cooler. On the kitchen wall, you'll see that we have something called a daily pull list. And the daily pull basically tells you how much of what ingredient to pull out in order to actually cook everything that we purchased for that meal. It's really important that way we don't waste food because if we miss a chance to cook, um, you know, like one of the chili ingredients on Monday, later in the week we may never use that ingredient again and then all the green peppers go to waste. So that's why it's there. In addition to the daily pull, we have another copy of what you saw on the outside of the truck the teams and workshop schedule that says the alphabetical uh, team leads A through I this year and then um, the co-lead and their support team members. And then down below we have our uh, workshop schedule and then here we have the schedule of when each of the teams has a shift. Below that is who the manager is for each of the departments. So, for example, my, I'm manager of the shower, so anything related to the shower is my responsibility. And we have a bunch of different kitchen managers because it's a big job, it changes through the week. And a moot manager for the rest of the week. Now our pots and pans are stored underneath that table. Alright, and that's the, uh, the kitchen pantry in a nutshell. Hope you like it.